And welcome to what is, in effect, a winter wonderland. The uh, snow-decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and, indeed, evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface. The forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game, but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse. The atmosphere is terrific, the turnout, considering the weather, is excellent, and you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. There's the whistle. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, the goalkeeper, Wojciech Szczesny, Peter. He's got incredible reflexes, and that makes him one of the best shot stoppers around. He's also very comfortable when he's under the high ball or coming out for crosses. And having someone like that just easing the pressure on that defence can, can spread confidence very quickly. OK, interesting. Forsberg, across the field it goes. Kleisson, lost. Out to the right. Kleisson. And that has sent him sprawling. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Kleisson. Hoists it forward. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Chesney sends that a long way. And here's Lewandowski. Oh, what a chance! Sees it out of harm's way. And it's Grzycki. It's Grzycki! Grzycki quickly realised that he could have a pop. Not his best. Sweden still to register a shot on target. Forsberg chooses to go back. A really good feat. Real chance! Click, hoist it 
clear. Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Here's the ball in, and he's cut it out. Fence has got rid of that. Ball's gone out of play. Larson. Hits one! Oh, that was close. Nick goes looking. Zielinski. Krakowiak. And it's played forward. Lost. Flyson. Frank Mist. Forward it goes. Nick tries to clear. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Click. Plays it out to the wing. Nicely controlled. Looking for a decent ball in. Goalkeeper's ball. Forsberg looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Lost. Heading towards half time, and it is still scoreless. to get it forward quickly. Now the cross. Has a hit! Goal! Sweden! And Sweden take the lead! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Looks to bypass the midfield. Forsberg. Loss. Sweden got their goal at the end of the first half, and it's 1-0. And that's put paid to a promising move. Krasicki. And it's Krasicki. Brzezicki is on to it and can take it up. There's the whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. 
Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back, too. They work tirelessly for me. Sweden, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Well, the action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Krasicki. Klich. Zielinski. And here's the chance to counter. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Over to the left. That looks a good ball. Has a shot! Krasicki. Camille Glick. Zielinski. Zielinski passes it forward. Lewandowski really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Larson. Shoots! They're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Plays it over to the other flank. Kleisson. Lost. Kleisson. Oh, that's nice. Larson plays a clever pass. Played into the mid. Going for goal! right from the top draw and this is getting better and better you run short of superlatives that was extra special So here comes the substitution. Sweden get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Piontek. Grzycki. And it's hoisted clear. And it's been taken straight back. Kleisson dashing forward at pace. Lost. Kleisson. Lustig tries to switch the play. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Piontek. Now, can he capitalise? Piontek, he's gone for it! Oh, should have put that away. Well, they're definitely going about things the right way, Peter. A goal soon can, can bolster energy levels now. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge.
He'll have a go. Disappointing finish in the end. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. Cliff. That's clear cut, it's a free kick. And out to safety. It'll be a throw-in. Zielinski. Just five minutes remaining now. Keep defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. And here's Lewandowski. Zielinski goes up and over. <laughs> Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Forward it goes. And that's that. Sweden have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I have to admit, Peter, that...